Hi, this is Mike with OnPoint Software. Thanks for checking us out. We're going to look at a short video on in-place drill down uh, financial statements. Uh, we're going to have a second video to keep things short that will show the same type of thing with uh, a labor report. Uh, a few things to note on, on the tools and techniques that we're going to use. Uh, we can print a financial statement for virtually any period where you have data. Uh, we can print one for 24 months back. We can print one for 24 years back, uh, as long as the data is there. Uh, no limitations there whatsoever. Uh, we can also cross fiscal years. If you want to say your calendar year end, but you want a financial that runs from October through March, not a problem. We can do that. Uh, we'll show you how to drill down to transactions on those statements. And we've got a couple other bells and whistles we're going to show you. Uh, just something that we were asked to do recently that we've included here. We're, we're going to show where when you, when you have a transaction that you've drilled down to on that financial statement, you can drill down to the batch detail. Sometimes in accounting that's important. Um, and we're also going to show you, uh, and, and I had TimberScan involved in, in this example, where uh, the way they hold their data, uh, we can drill down to the invoice, the actual accounts payable invoice, right from the financial statement. So how much time and cost savings is there with that? Uh, anyway, getting her going here. Uh, you can see I've got a desktop here, uh, drill down, a desktop icon rather, uh, drill down financial. When I double click that, let me see what's happening. When I double click that thing, I come to a range screen. Now I designed what this looks like. We're not, uh, we're not uh, 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 limited or, or restrained at all or constrained by the viewer uh, and what it provides us. We can decide what is on this screen. So I said, uh, let me see the company number, the description, and, and the current month. A lot of companies uh, struggle to remember what month they're in, so I just threw that on here. Uh, you can see it remembers my last choice. Uh, previously I had company 21 I selected. I could say, no, this time I want company 10. Uh, or go back to 21, which is what I'll do. Then I hit OK. And here is our date prompt. Again, no limitations whatsoever on your data. Uh, let's see, the sample data is back in 2010. So I'm going to run this as of uh, May 31st, 2010. expand that just a bit and you can see we have a financial statement for the uh, Timberline sample data. Now I went ahead and grouped on the on the account types income cost and expense with those subtotals and that income at the bottom. Of course we can do any grouping uh, that you require and map to to the way that your financial statements do the grouping and uh, listing now. So you can see I included the account number for reference and a little plus sign I'll come back to the description and then the current month balance and the year-to-date balance. All right. Now let's say uh, you were going down this and you saw that uh, subcontractor seemed seemed high for this month. It's in fact it's it's 50% uh, or more of the year-to-date balance. So you said, well, what's happening there? I want to see why we've paid so many subcontractors in in May. Uh, we can expand that by hitting this plus sign. You'll see when I do that, I expand that subcontract down to the transactions below it. If I click it again, I, it contracts back and I'm back to my financial statement. I can look at another account. But going back to subcontracts, and I'm going to minimize this just a bit for demonstration purposes. When I expand that, you can see I come to the transactions that make up these balances. So you can see the 49805 in the current month, he's broken down to these transactions that hit that account, and here's that total. And the 97 is made up of these year-to-date transactions with that total. Now, some companies don't want to see year-to-date. They just want current month. That's totally fine. We can, we can modify this to what you want. And we can also choose the columns of information that you want to see here. So let's just say that uh, A1 Electric Company looks suspicious, and uh, you wanted to see what was in that 14. All right, now, again, I, I did this in conjunction with uh, TimberScan, and the way the data is held there, I was able to do a link that would basically launch or expose that uh, AP invoice. Isn't that just cool? Now, in my data, <laughs> I put a copy of a log of a of a 
invoice from my law firm, my corporate law firm. I got a speeding ticket when I had my motorcycle up in New York doing a, a job that took a long time. So I rode my bike, but my wife doesn't know about this. I'm not the smartest guy in the world. So anyway, uh, very, very cool flexibility. Uh, think about month end or year end where your accounting staff is having to pull invoices or your auditors are having to pull invoices. Uh, and, then, and then they're having to be refiled. How much time and cost is there uh, with that effort? Uh, coming from a public accounting background, I was a partner at a CPA firm for a number of years. I, I get it. We can save a lot of money with this functionality. I also included in this uh, a drill down to the batch. Sometimes in accounting, you want to click and you want to see everything that makes up that batch of information. So I included the account, the date, transaction description, debit and credit. I also put in the job and some reference information. In this case, it's the vendor ID and the, the invoice number. Sometimes it's very handy. And of course, we can go back to our income statement and I can decide to, to look at other accounts if that's what I want to keep doing. So I hope this was helpful. Um, again, my name is Mike with OnPoint Software. If you have any questions, we can be reached at 417-581-7700. And we have tons of videos and free tutorials available on our website, onpoint-software.com. It's down here for your reference. Uh, if you want to see some more uh, how-tos and information about taking Timberline to the next level, please visit us. If you have questions at any time, please give us a call. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.